Six at one p.m. Uh, I'm here. Tom's here. Marty's here. Meg is absent. Barb's here. Here. Who's here? All right. Is there any public comment before the body this evening? So none. We'll move forward. Uh, just a very quick update on the on CVPH. Um, I used it as a, a quick holdover rather than doing the um, 15 fold in the name of the UVM Health Network, blah, 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 blah. Just so you, you all know, I, I think they have like those business cards that have like the extender in them now. Um, Chris Booth and I met again uh, to talk about um, some language as it relates to. Um, uh, the usage of the right away um, in the next, possibly next week, we might have a resolution for consideration um, or in a couple weeks from now. So we're just trying to um, finalize some language on that. So just a heads up. Um, I'm really not going to go in depth on this. This is a project that, uh, that Meg has been taking on. Uh, but I do want to just give you a heads up that Meg has forwarded uh, some dog park rules and regulations. We are working with Skyler Falls on a joint venture to do a new dog park in Morrisonville. Um, they're already beginning to put up the fence and some other features and stuff like that. So <coughs> without further ado, I'll leave that one there. Um, matters of, of personnel, uh, there are two uh, letters of resignation. Uh, that are here. Yeah. Uh, sorry, one letter of resignation, and then there's a, uh, a another letter that I want to go to first, um, and that is Rick Rasco, who is serving as our department head for building and grounds. Uh, it was stapled together. Um, what I'm going to ask, because we have been taking our time with this department to make sure that we are assembling the the right team with the transition. Uh, I would request that the Building and Grounds Committee of the board meet with uh, Rick to review uh, what his wishes and hopes are um, for his recommendation, just so that they're, uh, we're on the same page with that um, before we move forward on it. Uh, I don't really see uh, an issue with it, but I'd rather go through the process um, and then I would also advise uh, Marty, you serve as a member of the Building and Grounds yep. uh, Committee, but you're also in personnel. Mm -hmm. So I think that could serve as, a, as an opportunity to, to hit mm -hmm. up both of them. So um, if you wouldn't mind on that. And then uh, if it can be achieved by next week, great. If not, I would say within the next couple of weeks. Uh, there's still some civil service um, components of that that would need to be uh, achieved. Um, do you want to share anything? Do you want to? Well, they, they've got a copy of my letter. I mean, as much as I've loved this job here, uh, I'm going to be moving in, and my job, I have to be a resident of the town. No, but why do you have to move? Though? Because in three weeks from tomorrow, I'm going to be married. Oh well, okay, that's that's good reason. All right, we'll so, accept that. So two days ago, I saw. We shall my accept house. that one. <laughs> yes, yes. So it was a it was a hit and miss. My house, your house, new house, but we settled on Keysville. So. So I have no choice. I have to. Well, congratulations. So, and, and needless to say, two weeks. I can't give Ricky two weeks if he's not here. And I don't usually say congratulations about a resignation, but I always <laughs> want to keep him. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So I'd like to have given him two weeks up front. This is a terrible way, but it really isn't an option. And I need that time off before I get married. There's a lot of stuff. Sure there is. Yeah. And personally, uh, having had the opportunity to work with you during Ricky's absence, but also uh, since your time here, You've been an incredible asset to the team, and I, I, I'm serious. I, I have very much enjoyed uh, working with you, but also, uh, you know, building a friendship. So. I've enjoyed being part of the team and part mm -hmm. of the family, so I'm not going to miss it. If it wasn't for the state law requiring me to leave, mm -hmm. I, I would stay. Keysville's not that far away. So. <laughs> so, well, right. they're, they're gaining a good person down there, though, you know, so <laughs> who you. knows? Okay. Um, Speaking, speaking of the, the clerk's office, um, Christine, I think you could provide uh, some additional information if needed, but I, I want to provide the board some knowledge in Ricky's absence. Uh, I think it is important to know that uh, it, uh, the office received that uh, email 
and I'm just going to read it. Uh, Hello, Mr. Collins. We've recently had to disable your decals account as Jacqueline is no longer at your location. I've attached a new contract for you to execute the return. Let me know if you have any questions regards uh, Liz. And uh, she is from the Account Management and Budget Services as it relates to New York State Department of Environmental Conservation. And these are licenses, uh, New York State DEC licenses for hunting. Um, I know that when Jackie had resigned from her post as Deputy Town Clerk, uh, she was on the license. Uh, and she had requested to have her name removed. Mm -hmm. It seems as though uh, Ricky did not accomplish that, which means that effective right now, uh, until further notice, we are not able to provide those licenses to our uh, constituents and, and folks that um, have used the clerk's office as a resource. Um, you know, this packet of information will be provided to Ricky when he is back on site. But there's two things to be acknowledged here. Is one is we have someone exiting, so it doesn't make some sense, you know, for an application to begin that way. Um, it needs to be someone from the clerk's office. Also, Ricky, you know, when he starts back up, I imagine there's a, a period. I mean, isn't there a training? I, I'm not sure. There's a there's an application. Yeah. There. You know, training should be minimal. He's been doing it for years. He certainly knows the system. Yeah. So. Um, I, I, you know, I, I just I bring that to your attention as as a board, uh, because you may hear some things from folks that are coming in looking for this service and it's it's not available right now. So um, just just an FYI. So do you know where it is available? I think with Gander going out, that's a I don't know Walmart. Yeah. I don't know if they sell. Dick, Dick's is still doing it. I bought mine at Dick's and I believe Walmart. I'm just going to say yeah. I believe Walmart. Walmart. To your Dick's. point. Okay. So. Um, Again, just you know, bringing that to the attention of people. Uh, I know it. I know it can be rather frustrating. And when Ricky's back in town, you know, um, I'm sure he'll make it a priority. But unfortunately, we're we're in a period of which you know that activity cannot be offered. So, um, okay. Getting back on track with the uh, initial items. Uh, I do have uh, the draft minutes, uh, and, and my apologies uh, from Deborah and I. I was off Tuesday. Deborah took some extended time off this week, so that's why the packet was a little uh, wonky, to say best, uh, this week. So, uh, but the draft minutes are there. I would like to uh, entertain uh, action on the purchase of the HP multifunction printer this evening, though. Ms. Christine, if you wouldn't mind reading that. Are we going to put resolution number on it? Yes, I'm looking for the last number. I had a sticky mm -hmm. on it and it fell off. Please hold. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I think it's not. I think it's 175 on the last one. Last one? Last no, I think it's I think it's eight. Um, yeah, no. I think uh, I'm going to put, I'm going to assign it uh, 17183 uh, to be corrected okay. for the minutes if need be. Okay. All right. Resolution number 17183: Purchase of HP multifunction printer. Whereas the Water and Wastewater mm -hmm. Department and the Planning Department utilize multifunction printer for large-scale drawing, scanning, printing, and copying, and whereas the current lease has expired on the present MFP unit. And whereas the Water and Wastewater Department has obtained and attached formal written quotes for the purchase of an HP design jet T2530 multifunction printer, and said quotes have also been received by the Director of the Wastewater Department and Planning Department head. Therefore, be it resolved that the Town Board does hereby authorize the purchase of an HP design jet T2530 multifunction printer from SimQuest. 18 Northern Avenue, Plattsburgh, New York, 12903, in the amount of $8,878.95, and to buy out lease for trade-in credit, and be it further resolved that payment be made payable to the 2017 budget account number WS-1610-2000 and number A-8020-2000. 
and that a copy of this resolution be given to the Water and Wastewater Department, Planning Department, and Finance Manager. You know, I have to much appreciate that you, you've got every dash, hashtag, and everything <laughs> else in between all your readings, too. So, <laughs> thank you. Is there a motion? So I would. Is there a second? Second. Hebert. Any discussion? Uh, I just want to thank Deborah for providing the attachment so that we can review that. It looks like with the uh, HP, there's a rebate program that, that we have mm -hmm. aside from the, uh, the cost quote, right? I believe so. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. Seeing no further, uh, roll call. Thomas Wood? Yes. Martin Mannix? Yes. Meg LePave? Absent. Uh, Barbara Heaver? Yes. Michael Cashman? Yes, uh, resolution does carry. Thank you, uh, Scott Sauter has been put a lot of work into that, and uh, he'll be very pleased to be able to get that action item moving forward. Uh, none of the other items this evening uh, I'm going to ask for action on. So, um, draft materials for the 3% uh, site plan return deposit for Seacom Federal Credit Union. Uh, accepting page drive extension and turnaround. There's also a uh, draft resolution there as well. <clears throat> and then there will be consideration for a donation from uh, the Recreation Department we're working on. But there's a letter here. Uh, the Parks and Recreation Department recently received a generous donation of four kayaks, four paddles, and a trailer from Charlotte and Steve Menu, uh, residents of the town of Plattsburgh. Um, the two old town kayaks made of uh, Rota model plastic and are valued at $400 each, um, which I thought was uh, very kind, along with other items valued at $700, $600, um, and one other item. So the total value of the donation is approximately over $2,000. Um, so I, I think that's a, a, a wonderful thing. I'm extremely thankful for this generous uh, donation uh, to our recreation program. And I think it speaks um, largely to the remarkable uh, team that we have in both Mel and Erin uh, that run incredible programs and have a wonderful relationship with people that they see that as something that mm -hmm. they would want to do. So uh, that'll be coming down the pike as well. Uh, <clears throat> This was the other resignation that I was alluding to. Uh, resignation of Betty Strack as an alternate member of the Zoning Board of Appeals. Uh, there is a draft resolution there uh, before you. At this time, I'd also like to uh, introduce that I've been talking about this for a little while and I have been uh, cobbling together. It's not complete yet. Um, but I would like to introduce a general um, application for, po for folks to be able to apply for, uh, as interested parties, for our boards and committees um, so that we have a talent bank of sorts. Um, I know Debbie has been coming to meetings for a while and, and has seen how government works. I think it would be a great way uh, for us to be able to pull from, you know, uh, pull from and really get nice, a nice cross representation uh, generationally uh, from different areas of the town, so on and so forth. Yeah. So over the next week or two, uh, I may try to bring a draft version of that to you uh, and then work with the media to inform people if they're interested to try to create that talent uh, pool or bank. Mm -hmm. The idea, my general uh, thought is that people would fill it out we would keep that on file for a year, and then annually we'd purge it, and so on and so forth. And not all of our boards and committees have opportunities to pull from every year, uh, but at least it would provide some opportunity to extend um, I, I don't ourselves. Know that I'd want to purge it that often. You never know. Openings come up all of a sudden. Here's a whole bunch of sure. them. And then some years they don't. And, and, again, and again, that's why I said, you know, I'm not completely, you know, at a point where I have every kind of piece that I'd like to propose to folks, but just thinking in general, um, you know, it, it, my thought process is the, the, the town clerk's office would be the record of this, uh, so that they would come in and just trying to think of so that it's, you know, rather updated. Soon, okay. soon to not be resident. Yeah, yeah, sure, 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 we'll do that. <laughs> Yes. All right. So um, at this point, uh, I believe there was um, 
the need for an executive session, and at this point, I'd entertain the, the motion to go into executive session. Yeah, I'd like to make a motion to go into executive session to discuss uh, litigation pertaining to Texas Roadhouse. Uh, Bert Peeber, is there a second? Oh, sure, sure. Is there a second? Second. Uh, uh, the time is uh, six sixteen. Uh, I do not anticipate any action from it. Uh, Bart, do you anticipate any action from from this item or just a discussion? Discussion. Okay. Thank you. Uh, can I get a roll call, please? Thomas Wood. Yes. Martin Manich. Yes. Harvard Hebert. Yes. Michael Cash. Uh, yes. All right. Uh, let's go.